channel. Today we are at Bush Gardens for the spooktacular event that they have going on for the little ones. They get to collect some candy and more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Bush Gardens is located in Tampa Bay and it's about one to one and a half hours away from the Disney Park area. They are celebrating their Hollow Scream 25th anniversary this year, but they also have a special event for the little ones, which is the Candy's Sweetacular Celebration. This family-friendly Halloween event is held on weekends from September 7th to October 27th, plus on Halloween day, October 31st. The event is perfect for younger kids and it takes place from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the festival walkway in the park. So basically what you have to do is you have to buy one of these bags. They have different prints for you to choose from and then you can get candy. They have candy treat stations all along here it can get pretty busy but here at bush gardens it is quite shaded which is really really nice the event centers around candy a witch in training who loves candy and leads fun activities for children they also have this mystical mixes stand where they do serve alcohol so these are really cool because they're actually bubbles made out of fog. The kids love them. Some of the things that you can do here are first off, trick or treating. Kids can collect candy around this area with a reusable bag. And what's nice is that you can use that reusable bag as many times as you want throughout the event. So from September to October, even on Halloween day, you can come and collect candy. They also have a costume parade. Children under 13 can wear costumes and participate in a colorful parade. You don't necessarily have to wear a costume either. If you have like a cute Halloween outfit, you can still walk that runway and it's gonna be hosted by Candy herself and she is going to basically hype your kid up. It's amazing. They also have story time. This is where Candy hosts a reading of the story, Room on the Broom. It's a really fun, magical tale. Then they have a dance party where kids can just have a blast shaking their little skeleton selves and playing with the bubbles. They have a science show, which my daughter absolutely loved. The professor presents a spooky kooky science show full of surprises. They are so much fun. She's such a great performer too. She interacts with the kids. Like I said, my little one, she did not want to leave that area. She was obsessed with her. You also have the opportunity to meet two characters on stilts who are so friendly to the kids and take lots of pictures at different areas. They have the most fabulous photo opportunity stations along this area that you definitely want to take one picture at each one. Now what's great is that all these activities are included with park admission, making it a fun and safe way for families to just enjoy Halloween without the scares. Well, that was a great time. I wanted to kind of explain a little bit of how the bags work. So you do have to purchase the bags for $5. If you have an annual pass holder card, it will discount it a dollar. So we ended up paying four. The good news is, is that you are able to bring it more than once. So this is actually our second time coming and collecting candy. So use it as much as you can throughout the season of October because that's a lot of candy and they give pretty good candy. The kids love the gummy bears. So definitely check it out if you're ever in the Tampa Bay area. In addition, families can visit the Sesame Street Safari of Fun for more Halloween shows and activities throughout the month of October. In September, they don't quite put the Halloween part of it in, but nonetheless, they still have the show that is super fun. You get to see a lot of the beloved Sesame Street characters, and my girls are obsessed with them, so it's always a plus. They also have this huge kind of jungle gym that my son loves, and they have several rides that are appropriate for any age, so definitely take advantage because you're already in the park, you might as well ride some rides. Don't fly too high 
Another stop I recommend is the Miami Reserve. It's a special area where visitors can learn and observe African animals like gorillas and chimpanzees. The reserve is designed to look like the animal's natural habitat with trees, plants, and rocks, giving the animals really a lot of room to roam and climb. It's a quiet and educational part of the park where kids can really just roam free and have fun while also learning about animals and nature. Well, this completes this video. Like always, remember to dream big, be brave, and explore life. Until next time.